I found my police report. Oh, I was 17. Bumble clock. I was this close. I was this close. The money go with Smoking on gelato. Just so you guys know, I graduated. So don't talk to me crazy, okay? Come correct. Remember, keep it classy. Keep it classy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I do a little bit of everything. And today is going to be another story time, okay? Um, in my last story time, I told you guys I don't have that many stories, but I can tell you of the one where I got arrested. I am 16. I had just gotten arrested. <laughs> I had just gotten arrested. If you guys want to hear a story time about that, please let me know in the comments down below. And that's this story. Now, I was debating on telling this story because there are other people involved that I don't have contact with anymore. So I was just like, mm, should I tell the story? But I'm going to tell the story anyways from my perspective and try to keep their involvement to a minimal because, of course, it's still my story to tell. But I'm gonna keep their involvement to a minimal as well as I'm gonna change their name. And I just don't know what I'm gonna change the name to because I don't wanna change it too much where like I forget and then I mix Ooh. it up. But of course I would change the name because I don't know if this is a story they want out there. Anyone who I like really went to high school with knows who I would be talking about because those were my homegirls, okay? Those were. And we had a good time. There's no animosity anymore. I think <laughs> but no um for real it's it's not that deep and this story is just to tell the story is just for fun yeah let's get into the story okay so so this story starts June 19th to be exact <laughs> and this was right after exam so we had taken our last exam and it was in the morning so it was me and my two other friends at the time that all had like this was our last exam and we were the plan was to after we finish our exam go to the mall so i would have been 17 at the time i don't know if like i started smoking i feel like if i was high i would have remembered this story differently so i don't think i'm not sure like the very minuscule details but the plan was to go to the mall and get food basically and i had been saving up the this same ten dollar bill okay i was like what ten dollars i could go to taco bell and get me a price for you you know i could go to i don't know but th this ten dollars in particular i was going to spend on food so we all meet up we hop on the bus and we get we go right so the plan was to come from school go to the mall and get some food like you know we were tired about we were tired of the food that was around us so to my recollection that was the plan we finally finish our exams we meet up we hop on a bus and we go so we're finally at the mall we're literally headed to the food court like we had no other intentions we did not have money like that okay we didn't that was just a matter of the fact i didn't they didn't we did not have money like that it was about to be summer so you know we were looking for summer jobs we we're on our way to do our summer jobs right so at the time there was no income <laughs> so i had been saving these same ten dollars right so i didn't have money to spend so why would i be walking around the mall right we didn't that wasn't our intention aren't like the whole plan i'm telling you guys the entire plan was to get food that was it that was it we just we just took a long detour and because it was, i don't know we wanted to be mall rats it was the mall we were teenagers and we were hungry so we're like yeah let's you know so literally on our way to the food court like we're on the escalator and now the way this mall is set up is like diff it's not different well it's kind of different because where the food court is now is not where the food court was back then like it kind of migrated a little like it's a little it doesn't even make sense i'm outlining it but whatever so we were on our way i don't remember if we we're like walking we could have been like walking around a little bit because literally where we ended up doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense that we were like over i guess it does no, it like, doesn't make sense. Like Where the food court is, it doesn't make sense that we were all the way over there. So we must have been walking around. 
And then my friend, let's call her, oh lord, the names. Let's call her, why am I so bad at names? It's taking me so long. Um, Five hours later. Okay, I'm gonna name this first girl Neptune and the second girl Saturn, okay? So I was with Neptune and Saturn. Oh my god, am I gonna remember that? Let's hope so. So I was with, at the time, these were my closest friends, Neptune and Saturn. Thems was my bitches, okay? Like, we were cool at the time, obviously. <laughs> we were headed to the food court and Neptune was like, oh, hey guys, can we go into Hudson's Bay? And honestly, before like that day, I have never been into Hudson's Bay. I was like, what's in Hudson's Bay like I've never been then Saturn was like you've never been it's like it's like oh it's a store full of you know this that and the third like whatever it's a store full of everything it literally has everything like you know and yeah we're Canadian so if you're watching and you're not Canadian Hudson's Bay is like is like a bougie department store where they mostly hold like designer and I would say mostly like they mostly hold designer and name brand stuff and then you know so do you guys have a Hudson's Bay down there? I'm not even sure. I don't even know. Am I being stupid? Okay. <laughs> Neptune was like yeah can we go into Hudson's Bay? And then Saturn was like or Neptune was like yeah can we go into Hudson's Bay? And I was like we can like I didn't care. I was just hungry at that point so like I didn't care. I had ten dollars. I knew I was gonna buy anything because I didn't have the money so I'm like yeah, I don't care, like, we can if you want to, but then after, can we go and get food? Because, yeah, we must have been, like, window shopping beforehand, because now I'm hungry. So I'm like, but after this store, we're going to go into, we're going to go get food, because I'm hungry. Yeah, that was after Saturn was telling me what they had, and, you know, and I was like, yeah, we could walk through. So we go, we go in, and, like, literally the first thing, <laughs> the first thing, we seen we're like oh this is cute and it was ivy park this was before i even knew ivy park was like beyonce's brand i never knew that i never knew that i was just like oh this is kind of cute like you know and i had seen slippers they had slippers on the wall and it just so happened like those were the last ones i still remember they were green those were the last ones and they just happened to be my size and i was like this is a little too perfect, you know? And we were like, we were really, okay, it's not like we went in with the intention of stealing. That was never the intention. The intention was to go and get food. So it's not like we went in and we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna go into Hudson's Bay and, you know, no, that was never the plan. But it just like, we were looking at the stuff and we're like, oh my God, this is actually so cute. Cause I would have never thought Hudson's Bay had cute things like I just didn't think so like I would have never thought they had things for me so me and Saturn I remember it was me and Saturn because I don't remember where Jupiter was but I did not remember her being there and me and Saturn is looking at um like looking at this Ivy Park stuff and we're looking at the the slippers and she's looking at the dress and then I'm looking around <laughs> I'm like You know, you can't be obvious with it. You can't just be like, because that's obvious, you know? So I'm just like, Saturn, Saturn, do you see any cameras? And then she starts looking around. She's like, no. And I'm like, that's weird, isn't it? Like, that's weird. The store's so big. Like, they don't have cameras. Like, that's stupid. That's stupid of them not to have cameras. Like, what if someone, you know, it would be, it's too easy. It's all, it's too easy. So me and Saturn are looking around and we're like, no, but really, do you see any cameras? Cause we're like, maybe we're, we just don't know what they look like. You know, maybe they have them hidden. So we're now we're like trying to find cameras. So we're looking, we start walking around a little bit. We're looking around and we're like, I can't find any. And it's like, oh, what a coincidence. It's a coincidence. Yeah, yeah, it's a coincidence. I don't know, like, the lights are blurred. I don't know how we changed from, like, 
being like, oh, this is cute to, can it fit into my bag? Don't do it. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> and I think it was me, okay? I'm gonna say it, it was me. I take full responsibility for this shit because <laughs> I thought, I really thought it was slick because not that I was like stealing often, but you know, I had my little one two heist at Walmart. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna be ashamed. But those days are in the past now. I have a job and I have me some money and a credit card, so never that. But you know, at the time, I was 16, broke, and I didn't have no money. So, not that it, that's an excuse, it's not, but you know. It was very tempting. It was very, very tempting. So me and my friend, me and Saturn, at this point, I literally don't know where Jupiter is. So don't ask about her because I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she was like on the other side. So while we were like looking for cameras, I'm also looking for Jupiter. Did I say Jupiter? No, her name is Neptune. <laughs> I'm also looking for Neptune. And I'm trying to be like, she's just looking. She is being innocent with it. You know, she's just like, doing her own thing and me and Saturn were like do you see any cameras <laughs> and then she was like she's also looking around and she's like no so then we're like uh, there's no cameras there's no cameras so then you know nobody says it nobody says it but everyone's on the same page we're like mm. and you know and I'm like you know what and those slippers are cute <laughs> So at first we were like, okay, let's ask for a changing room cuz duh, like that's not the first fucking thing they think of So we're like, oh But at the time the changing rooms were closed. I'm not sure why but they just were um, So we asked the lady for a changing room. The thing is is we were not being slick. Okay, we were not being slick with it And she was just like, oh the changing rooms are closed and blah 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 and there's lots of associates, lots, loads of them. And they keep looking at us, but we're dumb. And we're like, why do they keep looking at us? You know, just being rude about it. We're just like, why do they keep looking at us? Like, da 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 da, knowing damn well we're plotting. Like, you know, and we're acting suspicious. We're act we're like whispering to each other, you know, like we're, we're being suspicious. So I'm looking at we're looking at the Ivy Park stuff because that's where it started and then we see like it's a hall of change rooms like I don't know it's just it's weird it was just like a corridor of changing rooms only like it was in the middle of the floor just for changing rooms so but all the doors were locked but like we still went down the hallway and put the stuff in our bag so um my friend we had picked up my friend had picked up like more stuff at the time like right there but I only had the shoes at the time so I'm thinking I have a genius plan. That's what I'm thinking, right? I'm like, oh my god. Foolproof plan. I'm a fucking genius. Let me switch out my shoes. So, like, if I do get caught, they can't say I didn't walk in with these shoes. Because then, where are my other shoes, you know? I'm thinking, oh my god, Einstein. I'm a genius, you know? And that's exactly what I do. So, I switch out my shoes. I put my, my dusty van into my bag. At the time, my bag was super small too. Like, I didn't have a ton of space. I wasn't carrying a backpack. I only planned to do my exam, so I only had like, you know those Tommy Hilfiger little duffel bags? That's the only thing I had. So, I was forcing my shoes. And I also had other stuff in there, like I had schoolwork. So I was forcing my shoes in there. I switched out these slippers and you know, I was wearing them throughout the whole thing. So now we get annoyed because people are watching us, right? So now we move on and we're like, okay, let's go upstairs. Let's see what they have upstairs. And then we go upstairs, but we're checking for cameras, right? So we're looking. We're like, okay, no, there's nothing up here. And they had cute stuff there too. Like they had Tommy Hilfiger like bra sets, bra and underwear sets. They had cute stuff. If I was to go in there now, I guarantee I could not find the same things. I just know I wouldn't. I just know I wouldn't. Now that I have the money, I can't buy it. Like, mm. so we go in or we go upstairs. And this time I'm with, what did I call her? Neptune? This time I'm with Neptune and you know, I was just bouncing between the two. They're doing their own thing and I'm here like, wee, wee, being dumb, okay? And I was like, before because I noticed that people were watching us, so I'm like, oh, they're on twist. Let me like seem to pick up something and be like, yeah, I'm gonna buy this. I was literally, 
I'm not even joking. I was like announcing it. I was like, what do you think? Do you think this is my size? I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. Like, is it cute? There's no change rooms open. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. No, I'm not gonna buy it. And then I left it like in plain sight so that people could see that like, I said I wasn't gonna buy it. And if I was gonna steal, why didn't I steal this? Like, I remember having that thought through my head. I thought I was, oh, for you genius. I thought it was a G. I was like, yup. <laughs> oh, nobody got it like me. I'm too good at this. I'm too good at my own game. That's what it is about being a fucking teenager is you're dumb. And you think you know so much better than you actually do. And then you get caught. But anyways, moving on. So yeah, we're upstairs. I'm upstairs with Neptune. And me and her are just talking. We're like trying stuff on. Not trying stuff on, but we're like looking at other stuff, right? So we're like looking at these underwears and like, you know, we're like, oh, this is so cute. But then we see a washroom. So we're like, okay, yeah, let's go into the washroom. And then now we're in the washroom and she's confiding me. She's like, oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous about it. Like, oh, sh and then, but she's giving me a plan. She's like, should we put it on? Like, you know, so that if they check our bags that they won't find the thing. And I'm like, no. When that was an actual good idea. I'm not, I'm not saying like, I'm not trying to give you guys ideas, but that was an actual good idea because when eventually I did get caught, it's not like they patted me down or anything. Um, I did maybe they told us to like lift up our shirt <gasps> not like lift up our shirt but like they asked us they're like do you have anything on and we're like no and that's all they could do because we're minors so at the time she was like telling me how nervous she was while also like giving me these ideas she's like should we put it on like you know da -da 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 -da. and I was like I don't think that so. like I think we're good I don't think so I don't think we should stay in the bathroom much longer because you know like what if we walk out and they're right there like you know so I'm like paranoid as she is like we're both kind of paranoid but like I'm also reassuring her like oh we're good we're good we're good so she's like okay yeah she's telling me well I'm not gonna tell you what she said because you know maybe she doesn't want her business out there but you know she's telling me legitimate reasons why she would be afraid of like getting caught and I'm just like I don't have a fear I'm not scared that's my whole thing too like that's why I was so like confident is because I wasn't scared I knew like especially with the stuff at the time my brother was doing I just knew that even if I was to get caught I would not be in trouble like there's no way they're gonna like put me in the bin for my first offense no that's not happening so I was like I was like if we get away with it but if we get caught, I mean, it is what it is. Like, but I was rooting for us to get away with it because I picked up some cute shit. I picked up like, like at least five hundred dollars worth of stuff, at least. Okay, maybe not five hundred dollars, like, cause my bag wasn't that big, but like a hundred and fifty, two hundred, even maybe three, and at least. So yeah, we finally get out the bathroom and we just look around. There's not much to say. We go shopping, you know. <laughs> we shop. <laughs> And I'm bouncing between um, Juniper and what Juniper? What? Why do I keep calling her that? I mean Neptune and Saturn. I keep jumping in between the two. So then, eventually, we're ready to go. We're like, we need an exit plan. What's gonna be our exit plan? Like we're being so suspicious, so suspicious. There was no way. They were definitely like talking about us on the fucking on the little earpiece. They were just like, yeah, these three girls. They're, they're stealing their teeth in and we were there for a minute we were there for like I want to say like an hour an hour just looking at stuff shopping and then trying to like we thought like with time the heat would be off of us and you know then we could like once people stop looking we could just leave but no that that's like quite the fucking opposite they were just waiting for us to leave so that they could bust us so we're just like, we finally, like, you know, assemble and we're just like, well, how are we gonna leave? And I'm like, cause I'm a genius, right? Like, I'm, I'm so smart. And I'm like, well, obviously we can't leave the way we came in. So let's leave like the bottom stairs. Cause Hudson's Bay is a whole department store, right? So they have both the top and bottom floor. So say we came in through the top, my idea was let's go out the bottom. Like, duh. <laughs> oh my God. So we go out the bottom 
and or we yeah yeah that was the plan and then we go at the bottom but i'm being so bait like that's why that's why i say i take full responsibility because it was my fault that we got caught because i'm stupid <laughs> so we walk out the bottom or we walk out the bottom and i literally turn around and i'm like Woo! <laughs> okay i wasn't yelling but i'm like home free i'm literally doing that as i'm walking out the door because i'm like you know the sensor didn't go off i think we're back where i left off um where did i leave off fuck oh yes okay so we're leaving and we're leaving out the store from the bottom entrance and i am making a damn scene and saturn i i was literally you know i was doing the whole nine and because i'm thinking oh the thing never beeped because we popped all the the tags off because you know i don't know like stealing one on one you gotta pop the tags like that's that's like the thing but apparently it's not even the tags it's just like a sensor that makes whatever go off go off so we popped the tags on literally everything we had so i'm thinking like once we like my heart i remember my heart bumping out of my chest but once we passed the threshold and it didn't go off i was like we made it like we did it we did it we did it yeah no no that was the furthest thing from the truth so as soon as i'm done making my scene and saturn is like could you stop you're making a scene I'm like, why? Like, I'm trying to tell her to chill out. I'm like, why? We made it. Like, we're literally on free. Like, that's what I'm thinking in my head, right? And then I get a tap on my shoulder. I look over. It was this side. I look over and I'm like... And the man's like... Lost her pension. He, he shows me the dustiest badge I've ever seen, bro. Like, this man has had it in his back pocket waiting for this moment. Like, I was his very, like, I was the first person he's ever busted. Which I know isn't true, but it was just that grimy. Like, it was, ugh. It, it just looked dirty. And I can't even believe he touched it. Like, he showed his badge, but I couldn't see anything. So, like, what was the point of showing your badge? Because I can't see, I couldn't even see his face. I couldn't see none of the words. It was so dusty. But I remember it was like white, red, and then with his picture on it, right? But it was this short man talking about some last prevention. At first, I didn't even know what that meant. I'm like, last prevention? But then, of course, I put two twos together. I'm like, oh, last prevention. Like, you know, it just, once you like say it out loud, it makes sense. And then, like, they tapped me on my shoulder, right? So, of course, it's me who who get who's getting busted it's me who's who they're like you know trying to take in so this man just taps me on my shoulder too and the only reason why i looked over be was because i'm like who's touching me but i really looked like this and then i had to go like because <laughs> he was so short like this man i'm 16 or 17 at the time and i'm taller than him that's embarrassing that is embarrassing now i knew why he took his his mall cop job so seriously like when i tell you we'll, we'll get into it but yeah he's he's there like loss prevention and then this other ginger ginger guy comes out and he has handcuffs right and my friend saturn like okay so yeah they tap me on the shoulder and they're like loss prevention and when i tell you what I know here, Neptune, Neptune was gone, she was gone like the wind, but I don't blame her, I don't blame her, because it's clear to me that, like, it was me, and I know why it was me, like, girl, I'm not even mad, for real, like, I wouldn't understand, it wouldn't make sense to be mad, but, like, I look up, <laughs> it's so funny, <laughs> but I look up and all I see are eyes, eyes staring back at me, you can see the fear in this girl's face, Face. it wasn't funny but like like I could tell that you know she already told me how much how scared she was of getting in trouble the first time so like I don't blame her like I could see it I saw how scared she was so she's going up the escalator she's not like running walking nothing she's just like standing and going up the escalator and like watching us because Saturn stopped with me like the whole thing is is I was trying to tell Saturn later on that girl you should have went with um Neptune 
because it was me that they were, you know, like it was me that they were coming after because, you know, whatever. I was being bait. I was not being smart, whatever. And truthfully, I wasn't scared. Like I did, I was not scared. The only thing I was scared of was like my grandma coming. Like I was not scared at all. Like I was, I don't know. There's no other way to put it besides that. Like I just didn't care. So yeah um saturn stopped with me like they didn't even like stop her they stopped me they must have i don't know where they busted me i don't know what it was which really goes to show that we could have got away with it we really could have got away with it that's the thing we were literally this close to getting away with it but i guess it's because i was doing the most that we got caught i don't know i don't know where why or when i know why but i don't know when like i got busted or whatever so then um Saturn stopped and like she surrenders so like they question her they're like oh do you have something in your bag and then she's like yeah and you know she surrenders and uh Neptune's gone Neptune is up the es escalator and gone and I was just in the back of my mind I'm just like this girl better not tell my boyfriend at the time anything because i wanted to be the one to tell him because i knew i knew i knew he was going to dog me out and ended ended bro i did not hear the end of it i did not hear the end of it for about like a fucking week bro and i wanted to be the one to tell him because i wanted to tell my version <laughs> i wanted to be the one to tell him but she went home and like told him immediately which was annoying but it, it was okay because I never told her not to and you know understandably she was scared so she just went home and was like yeah you're not gonna rest in my so yeah anywho when um yeah me and Saturn got arrested so Juniper or Juniper ugh, Neptune is now out of the story right she she later sent us a huge paragraph like in our group chat um saying like apologizing and saying sorry like i understand if you never want to talk to me again i'm such a bad friend as if i was really expecting her to stay back and get busted with us what friend would i be to let my friend also get arrested you know i wouldn't have cared if it was literally only me like i would have been like yeah i, I probably in the back of my mind, I would have been like, mm, that was kind of fucked up. But I also wouldn't have expected them to stay, you know? I would not expect my friends to stay back and get in trouble with me. I don't care. If you could get away, get away, bro. Get away. <laughs> like, you know? So, um, she sent us a whole paragraph, like, apologizing and telling us that she threw away the stuff. And I'm like, girl, you got away and you folded? <laughs> That's what I was mad. I was like, you throw it away? Why? Why? Like, the stuff she had was so cute. That's besides the point. I really shouldn't even be dwelling on that. But, like, the girl said she threw it away and, and just went home. Didn't even get food or nothing. And I was like, well, understandably. But I was like, damn. You did, like, that's crazy. That is crazy fucking crazy she didn't have to throw it away and she, this girl just dashed the whole thing she said she threw it in the garbage and she left so yeah um now we're at the point where me and saturn are in the back room you know some cold ass room and we we got sat on these chairs and those chairs were so uncomfortable like they were not made proper that's the, my that's my only conclusion like those chairs were not made to be sat on they were made specifically to keep you uncomfortable i'm i'm, I'm certain of it because me and my friend both were so uncomfortable oh no i'm going too fast okay so yeah when when the man tapped me and they handcuffed me and i'm like out of the two of us you think I'm the threat? You're gonna handcuff me? Bro, I was kind of offended. I was like... That last part was needed. The handcuffing was literally too much. You're doing too much. I was like, I, they're handcuffing me, and I was like, really? You think I'm gonna run? I'm not even fighting. Why are you handcuffing me? Like, I was cussing, because I was like... You guys are being extra. And was, because what the fuck? The, the, the handcuffs were extra. To walk me two steps back into the mall or back into the store 
yeah they just wanted to do it to do it they just they just wanted to use the handcuffs and i'm i'm like sure of it by now so yeah back to it me and my friend um saturn were in these uncomfortable ass chairs and saturn is telling me how scared she is it's not funny it's not funny but she's telling me how like how disappointed you know she's in herself she's like oh my gosh i'm gonna be so much trouble like you know um her family is also like not like super religious but i know her like she goes to church often as well she's like oh my gosh you know just bringing up those stuff and i'm just trying to make her feel better and i'm just saying like i'm not gonna get into like the nitty-gritty of um our conversation but like i'm just trying to make her so make her feel better and I'm just like I don't know I'm trying to take her mind off of it I'm like I don't know I don't even remember exactly what I was saying but I, you know I was trying to be like it's gonna be okay like it's gonna be okay like we just know never do it again you know yeah so I don't know why they had us oh we had we, they had us waiting for so long because the police they called the police on some teenagers like the whole thing was just so extra it was so unnecessary like that was enough to for me to be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, i retire but they had to call the police and then i was like well i got obligations like i'm supposed to be picking up my siblings from school so how long is this gonna take and they're like we don't know and i'm like what do you mean you don't know like how long does it usually take and they're like we don't know we have to call the police and you just have to wait for them to get here so that we did and we talked some and there's also like weird things like they kept doing their job like we could see the cameras now we're looking we're in like the camera room right so we could see the cameras now and um i can't remember like i don't want to say like they were hidden because i don't know i don't remember like the position they were in or whatever but like I was like, oh, there's cameras, and like, duh, there's cameras. They were being so rude. They were being so rude. Like, me and my friend were literally, like, over them. Because they were being so unnecessarily rude. But we were trying to pass time, so, of course, me being the chatterbox, I'm here asking questions. And I'm like, oh, so, like, how often do people steal? <laughs> and they're like, all the time. Often. And I'm like, so, like, is it only teenagers, or do you guys get other people, too? And they're like, everybody everybody steals you there's no type of person that steals everybody does so you know they're like kind of giving us banter well it wasn't even like the guy that was watching the camera it was the ginger and he's like kind of giving us banter because again he's around our age so th during the time we were there you know we're like kind of talking ish like we had a couple conversations um as well as we just got there we weren't allowed our phones we weren't allowed to touch our bags we weren't allowed to do anything like we just had to sit there and my phone kept blowing up because again like i had obligations i was supposed to be somewhere so my phone kept ringing phone kept ringing i'm like can i at least answer them to tell them what i where i am and what i'm doing you know and at first they said no they said no and they kept calling back calling back i had everybody calling my phone and then i was like well i need to because like there's kids involved like come on so then finally they make me answer but they hold the phone and put that shit on speaker like some weirdos it was so weird it was so weird i'm like it's definitely not that deep it's definitely not that deep if you guys what do you guys think i'm going to jail today because i don't so um yeah and then i basically tell my aunt she was like um where are you you're supposed to be picking up the kids are you home and i'm like no i got arrested and she's like you what and you know She's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, but I really can't talk. So, um, yeah, I won't be able to pick up the kids. And, like, that was the end of the conversation. So, I um, finally hang up. Yeah, they take back my phone. And they're also going through our bags. Because they're like, oh, is this ours? Is this ours? And, you know, I told you guys I was wearing the slippers. So, they're like, whose shoes are these? And I'm like, mine. And then they look at my feet and they're like, so, those are ours? <laughs> And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then to give it back, that mm, top 10 most embarrassing moments. But it was funny. It was kind of funny. And then, yeah, so going back to just waiting for the police. We're just waiting. I'm calming my friend down. And this guy's on Tinder, the ginger. The ginger is on Tinder. 
looking i don't know if he was on tinder was there tinder back then i don't know he was on something like either a dating app or like or like instagram or something where he was like telling his friend the his other people he was like yo look at this girl and you know they go and look and then they were like she looks young how old is she like she could be 17 but i wouldn't care and then me and my friend are looking at each other because we're 17 we're 17 in a room full of men there was one girl there was one girl and we're like me and my friend look at each other and he was like oh i'm joking i'm joking but we're already disgusted like the joke was not funny the joke fell flat it was so awkward and then after that we stopped talking to him because we're like oh so you're a creep <laughs> great so yeah, we wait, we wait, and then the police finally come after, like, I'm telling you, it's dark outside. We finished our exam, like, early in the morning. We got caught maybe around, like, noon, and at least more than three hours passed. No, I don't think it was, like, dark outside, but it was, like, sunset by the time we left. So, like, you know, it was, like, it was, like, five hours we were waiting there, like, in total to do everything. But like at least three to four hours just waiting on the fucking police. It was so annoying. It was so annoying. So the police finally come and then they were, they asked for my mom's number. I'm like, my mom doesn't have a number. I wasn't I wasn't about to fold that easily. And I was like, my mom doesn't have a number. They're like, so who are we gonna call? You don't know your mom's number? And I'm like, not by off the top of my head, but I wasn't allowed to use my phone. So then they were like, Well, whose number do you remember? Because if you don't remember a number, Okay guys, I'm gonna work on wrapping up this story time because my camera keeps dying on me. They keep asking for a number, a number, like, you know, a number for a guardian and I was not letting up. I was like, mm, I don't have a number, I don't have a number, blah, blah, blah. My mom's not gonna answer, da, 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 da. And you know, they were threatening me. They're like, if you don't give a number, I'm taking you to jail. Like, they were threatening me. So I'm like, oh, okay. I don't remember the number off the top of my head. So then, because I was also debating on giving my grandma's number, but I was more scared of my grandma than it was my mom. So I was like, mm, I don't feel like a lecture right now. So I'm like, okay, I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm going to need my phone to like look up the number. And they scolded me for that too. They're just like, you don't know your mom's number? And I'm like, no, she's at work. Like, you know? So then finally I give over the number and he calls my mom. <laughs> And then he comes back, he's like, Do you have a brother? And I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, because I called your mom. And then she was like, what did he do now? But he was like, no, this is for your daughter. And she was like shocked. And he was talking about how shocked she was and da 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 da, whatever the case may be. You know, he was cool though. I'm not gonna lie. We don't fuck with the police. Don't get twisted, don't get twisted. But you know, he wasn't annoying. Like. You know, the people who originally like took me in whatever detained me was annoying. He was just like doing his job. So he finally, um, we finally, you know, do the process. And then now I'm just waiting on my guardian to pick me up. And I'm super nervous. I'm like, is my mom gonna leave work or is she gonna send my grandma? And you guessed it, she sent my grandma, but it's okay though because i had a plan i had a plan um my friend saturn her whole family her whole family was like already there and you know um everything she was scared of was coming to fruition i'm not gonna get into it but you know you know, her mom was upset so yeah she was going in and my grandma was there just looking at me disappointed bro and that hurt more she was just like I never knew you were like this and you know like kind of lecturing me but lord forgive me i'm saying that i'm probably gonna say it again but i lied i lied to my grandma and i was like yeah it wasn't even me because in my mind i felt like this was a white lie because in my mind i'm like i know I'm never gonna do no dumb shit like this again like and if i do i'm i know i'm not gonna get myself caught like this is the end I, I retired this is the end of the road for me so i just told my grandma anything i need to tell her so that i wouldn't get in trouble and i feel like that was a good sacrifice because my consciousness like my morals 
fucked up. But my consciousness were in line because I'm like, I know I'm not gonna do this again. So me just like getting the heat off of me should be enough. Like, you know? So I was just telling my, my grandma, I was like, yeah, it wasn't even me. Like, it wasn't even me. I gave my bag to my friend, but because it was my bag, you know? I just sold my friend out. And then my grandma kept, the thing about grandmas is they're gonna keep asking you about it, you know? They're gonna, they're gonna bring it up again and again and again, but whatever, they were my friends, not my grandma's friends. So I was just like, yeah, I don't know what happened to them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, grandma, I don't know. While we were still friends. And yeah, I never told that to my friends either. I never, but it didn't matter. To me, at least it didn't matter. Like what? Oh, I'm fully getting a call. Hello? Hello? Yeah? What are you doing? I'm filming. Oh my gosh, family's home. Okay, so yeah, basically, I just lied. And you gotta fake it till you make it. I, I mean, and I did not feel bad. And I still don't feel bad because... Should I feel bad? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where my grandma was like calm, like when the police was talking to her, she was just like calm. She was just like, okay, okay, okay. you know, she was disappointed, but she was just doing what she had to do. But my grandma is a real one because they they were asking for a mug shot. <laughs> they were like, so can we take like not even not even the police, the the people who took me in. I don't know what they are, mall cops. Took me in. They were like, oh, can we take a mug shot so just so that for our systems so that we know that if she was to come back our systems can read it because I was banned for a year that didn't stop me from going though I was banned from the whole not just the store but the whole mall premises and that mall like it wasn't just the mall it was like the restaurants and I, I worked at one of the restaurants <laughs> yeah by this time I was still banned but I got a job working at that restaurant even though I was still technically banned I was on the premises every day they couldn't stop me. I was about my bread, you know? So they asked for a mugshot. My grandma said, nope. And you know, my grandma was like, my grandma was kind of mad about it. She was like, why would I give them a mugshot? You didn't, it wasn't even you. <laughs> She's there vouching for me. She's like, yeah, what, why would I give them my mugshot? When it wasn't even you, it was your friend. Da, 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 da. When me in the back of my mind knowing damn well. But I still didn't want them to have my mugshot either way because what? What? Why are you just for your system so that every time I come into the mall, you know, you know me? No, that's a setup. That is a setup. And I had to walk through the mall every single day to get to my job. I got fresh out of high school and at that point I was still banned. So that would have just worked against me real hard. And even though I was banned from the whole premises, I still got that job. So I, I was really nervous about that too. I'm like, will it be on like a record? like what my name because I know my name was on some type of record but I'm like would my name be like would they be able to like look me up and see that I'm banned but it never got in the way of anything um what they did do was send a check oh yeah so whatever bada bing bada boom um my grandma she got me taken out like whatever I got to leave with her we signed the papers the paper I showed you before we we both had to sign that um and i had to go into a program an intake or a uh, thief uh anti-theft program which i graduated from thank you very much um an anti-theft program where i had to it was crazy because i was working i was working my summer job and i was working my summer job all the way in vaughn i had to come back down into town to go to this anti-theft program which was annoying but like i still did it and then even when I was in the anti-theft program, the man was like, you don't look like the girl that would do this. Why did you do this? And I was like, you know, just dumb teenage stuff. Like, I didn't deny that I did it with him, but he also gave me like a bunch of free stuff. Like, he gave me a bunch of free toothpaste, a bunch of free body wash, a bunch of free, like, cans of soup. Like, just free stuff. Um, and yeah, eventually I graduated from that. I had to write a letter. Oh my god, I wonder if I still have the letter. But I had to write a letter apologizing to this corporation. For, <laughs> for stealing. And then later on, like I want to say a month down the road, I'm well into my summer job. Why did they send me a fine for $500? For 500 Like, you're sending me a fine for $500 for stealing? 
Like, I didn't have the money to begin with. What makes you think I have, I all of a sudden have $500 in my back pocket? No. And I really thought I had to pay this fee. And then I brought it to my mom and I'm like, oh, look what I got. Like, do I have to pay this? And my mom was like, no, you don't have to. Like, you know, like, it's not like, I don't know why I I don't know the technical terms I, I'm not I'm gonna be honest I don't know why I didn't have to I just never did because at the time minimum wage was a lot lower than it is now no no I was not trying to do that so um I never paid it I thought I still had the letter but I apparently not and yeah one day they could really run me down for the money so far um as goes for my friend well i'm not gonna tell her story because that's not my story to tell but my other friends um we talked about it and it was just like we, we were just like that was some dumb shit Let, let's not do that and i obviously i apologized because i felt like i was the reason we got caught so i was like you know i'm sorry for that that was that was my bad <laughs> and then yeah my boyfriend at the time just dogged the hell out of me but you know he was mostly laughing at me because he's like girl are you dumb but yeah i deserve that and yeah um but that's basically it for <laughs> this story time um the more stories i tell i feel like the more i remember like i have maybe one or two stories i could tell definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed this story and i'll see you guys in the next one